Hi, thank you for stopping by and looking at the video. This is the first time I've undertaken painting a boat, and if you uh, see anything that I'm doing that you think can be done better, please message me to let me know. Uh, <clears throat> I've started work on the boat a little bit. I've removed the uh, vinyl surface uh, paper that's there for uh, uh, grip for the feet. You can see that here. And I've started doing some sanding on the boat. I'm using a uh, uh, orbital sander with about 60 grit sandpaper. And the boat does not have any type of uh, gel coat on it. The primary, what I'm discovering is that it has uh, a coat of primer and then the coat of paint. The paint, uh, there was no blistering. It looks like it's mechanically held. But when viewing uh, various topics about painting boats on the internet, it says uh, to take it right down to the bare fiberglass and um, you know remove all the hardware. The hardware was a point of contention because uh, lots of it is bolted, and there's no access to the underside of the bolt. You either have to pull the deck up from the hull or be cutting inspection panels to get to the um, bottom side of the bolt. So I'm removing, I'm going to be removing that which I can and the rest of it um, is going to be left there. The um, deck hull seems to be good and sturdy all the way around even though this is a 1965 vintage. Um, I'm using an orbital sander uh, Due to you know necessary concerns about toxicity, I'm using the orbital sander that has a dust collection system on it. I'm wearing an N95 dust mask, and in addition, I have the uh, largest shop vac that was available when I purchased it at the time. I purchased it with kind of the goal of, with looking for the strength, and as I said, that could suck the enamel right off of your teeth. The uh, project is immensely um, a much larger project than I expected. I had bought, you know, a little bit of paint, and then you read that um, the paint is going to last not all that long. And I had bought, and the stuff's not uh, free. I, so I ended up buying enough to put two coats of primer. And then uh, also uh, two counts of the final finish. We'll be changing the color of the boat. It's currently a light blue, uh, very faded, and we're going to be changing it to a white. Uh, for the grip, we're not reinstalling the grip vinyl on the boat. Instead, we're going to be using a um, the grit that's available to mix in paints or apply above it. Um, if you can look at the, you'll see the bottom of the boat here. And when I pulled up all the vinyl that was on the bottom, all the paint came up because I think it was holding any moisture down there. Um, so hopefully that will uh, take problems. But unfortunately, I've read that you end up repainting a boat every two years. I've decided to use a single part polyurethane. Um, uh, the, I was initially intimidated by the two-part polyurethane, although I understand there's significant difference between the uh, uh, duration along the paint last. Um, like I said, I'm going to be taking off most of the boat hardware, although some of it I just can't access the underneath part, but um, most of it is. And here you are, you're just getting a good introduction into the boat and uh, kind of what I'm starting right here. Uh, oh, I had no idea it was going to be this size of project. I moved it away from the lake uh, so that the dust doesn't contaminate the lake as I'm doing the process and uh, ended up parking at home, much to my neighbor's chagrin. But at least I can go out and do bits of it at a time as opposed to doing the 12-mile drive to the lake. 